Hey YouTube, I ran into an interesting problem at work and it's a good example to demonstrate fail smart design. What do you do if you have an input or output stop working on a PLC or microcontroller? PLCs can be programmed in a number of ways, ladder logic and function blocks being two popular methods. In this drawing, the programs on the left and right are equivalent. The contacts in parallel work like a logical OR gate and the contacts in series act like a logical AND gate. The normally closed contacts act like an inverted input on a function block and are represented by a circle on the input. Here is a simple PLC program. Outputs Q1 and Q2 are operated by the inputs I1, I2 and I3. Q1 can only be operated when Q2 is off and Q2 can only be operated when Q1 is off. Both inputs require I1 to be on. If I1 and Q1 were to fail, how could you quickly recover functionality? In this case, the program could be easily rewritten using I4 and Q3 without much difficulty, but in a much larger project, this could be a very time-consuming and complicated process. Instead, you can make your program fail smart, in a way that allows you to easily recover from input or output failures. A number of memory bits, M1, M2, and M3, have been assigned the values of the inputs used in the original program. When I1 is on, M1 is on. Also, the values of M4 and M5 have been assigned to the outputs Q1 and Q2. The program is then rewritten using only the memory bits. The program will run the same way as in the first example, but this one is much easier to repair if there is an input or output hardware failure. If a fault were to occur in I1 and Q1, the recovery process is now very simple. Instead of replacing every reference to I1 and Q1 in the program, only the two memory bit assignments need to be changed. In a higher level language, this could have been done by having a function for reading each input and writing each output. If there is a hardware failure, only the pin assignment in those functions needs to be changed. Now that the memory bits have been assigned to different inputs and outputs, the physical wiring can be adjusted to match the software change leaving the whole project working without a complete rewrite. I hope you found this interesting, and if you'd like to see more like this, check out my channel. Thanks for watching.